Hey everybody, Bill1911 here. Today we're going to take a look at the Walther P38. Okay, this pistol um, replaced the P8 Luger as the official sidearm of the German army. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that took place. It was part, part way through the war that they started using the P38 also. Um, I don't know if they ever completely got these out of uh, circulation uh, before the end of the war. I think some people still used the P, uh, the P8 Luger, but I'm not certain on that. Okay, so what I wanted to show you, the reason I have them both here is I just did a video on the P8 Luger and demonstrated this button right here is a disassembly lever. By rotating it down on the Luger, the whole thing comes apart. Well, the Walther has the same disassembly lever, okay? There are a couple little quirks on this that might drive you a little insane, so we're going to try and show you what they are. So let me get the Luger out of the way because we're not doing that in this video. We're doing this one, okay? So, right down here, in the slide, there's a little U-shaped cutout right here in the slide itself, okay? Now, this little U-shaped cutout corresponds to this disassembly lever. In order to rotate that lever, we have to pull the slide and the barrel backward to that position before that lever is going to rotate, okay? Which I'm having trouble getting a hold of. I'm trying to dem demonstrate this so you can see it. And it's very difficult to hold the gun in an unnatural position to do that. Okay, once that lever starts to rotate, as you can see, once it comes all the way around, you would think, hey, the gun will just come right apart. Well, it won't. Why? Because I didn't take the magazine out. If the magazine is still in this gun, it's not going to come apart. Okay? Now, there's another little quirk about this gun. Okay? If this gun is cocked, it also will not come apart, okay? So, the hammer has to be forward. Once that hammer is forward, it just slides right off the end, okay? But those two little things, you got to make sure that it is not cocked, and you got to make sure the magazine is out, or you're not going to get the gun apart, okay? Now, that's the uh, Walther P38. Um, it's a decent gun. Now, this one actually has some problems that I'm going to show you uh, in a moment. I'm going to have to order some parts for it, at least one part for it anyway. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and take the grips off this one, okay, and show you that there are some things that happen to this gun that you're going to have to be aware of, all right? So it's not a terrible thing it's just some it's one of those things that you got to know is there okay be aware of it all right come off of there you that screw's got to come out it's fighting me all right now i can slide it out okay so right here on the frame this is a little pressed in shoulder pin okay it presses into the frame but it can't stick out further than the inside of that frame because this is your magazine well. There is also one on the other side, all right? Sometimes these pins with age with these guns kind of loosen up in there so they can pop out. Now, if this thing comes loose, that spring will fire that little pin across the room and you're likely never to find the darn thing. Um, I can tell you that because it's happened to me before, all right? so. You want to make sure that these pins are in snugly and not coming out, all right? So, I'm going to go ahead and put the grips back on. Um, well, one other thing I'm going to show you. This is the hammer strut. This is the spring that runs the hammer, okay? That's what makes the hammer move. It also controls the magazine release, okay? So, just be aware that that's there. All right, so we're going to put the grips back on it now. They kind of have a little lip right here on the front that hooks to the frame, okay? So you got it, if I can keep from fumbling the ball, 
um, you got to make sure that you're in position correctly or the grip isn't going to go all the way down you'll see a gap like that okay a little gap between there and the frame so you got to make sure you got it in on the front before it'll pop into place both grips have the same little lip on them all right so we're going to get that in place hooked under the front and popped in in the back okay now single screw goes through now I always caution you about this because it's important don't over torque one of these grip screws that goes through the grip just snug it solid and then let it go at that and the reason why you don't want to do that do too tight is because you can crack these grips okay so just be aware of that you don't have to to go crazy with cranking down that grip screw okay if it's not moving around it's tight enough you're good to go so let's take the barrel out of the slide okay that's not coming out why all right because this is a locking lug that locks the barrel into place all right in order to get it out there's a little button that i'm going to show you that is right here okay this button when you press it forward it rocks that lug up out of the way and the barrel just extracts right out okay so i'm going to show you that to you one more time okay when that button is locked the barrel won't come out push that button forward all the way it's going to rock that locking lug up and then you can draw it right out okay now this locking lug is actually broken on this gun so if you will look this side of the locking lug goes all the way back to here to the to the barrel but this side here has been fractured off at one time somewhere in the past okay so I'm going to have to order a new locking lug and fit it into place on this gun so it functions properly right now it's allowing this to pitch sideways in the gun okay and if you'll notice I'm getting some unusual wear right here on the barrel okay let me tip that up so you can see it a little bit better this is an uneven wear from side to side on the gun so this I believe is being caused at least in part by the fact that this lug is not holding the way it's supposed to because this little ear does not hook into the slide like it's supposed to and lock the barrel solidly it's allowing the barrel to, to pitch when it goes off so we're going to get this part and we're going to replace it it won't be today but we are going to do it so in order to get this out just lift up and it rocks right out of place okay put it back in it's the same same thing in reverse all right um this gun is nice and clean the bore looks pretty good on it um the only problem with it in this gun is that that broken piece so we're going to have to replace this all right so to put it back together we're going to push it into place and it drops right down there now make sure that you push that button back in all the way that's going to align this so that the barrel will slip back into the slide like that okay now press it down and that's going to lock your barrel into place okay from there we're going to turn our slide over and slip it in okay now before i do that i want to show you the uh, recoil spring on this gun is actually two springs and it's on both sides of the gun all right now it actually has a little guide rod okay and this little plastic guide rod here we'll get out of there you little stinker there we go all right is like that now somewhere along the line on this pistol somebody took the other guide rod the one on the other side and it looked like they tried to use it as a punch to, to push out a pin or something because the one end of this guide rod was damaged okay if you look closely you can see there's a distortion in the end of this okay now I had to clean it up with a file and get it squared away because it was jamming on this recoil spring and wasn't allowing the recoil spring to move freely okay so in order to put these back in 
right here on the frame on both sides is a little lip, okay, and a little kind of like cut out cup here. That re uh, guide rod is going to push back and go clunk right into that spot right there, and that's what locks it in. So we slip our recoil spring right back into its socket in the frame, okay, you can see it just slips right in there. And then we're going to grab it and we're going to push it back right into place and it'll pop right down into where it's supposed to be and that locks it into place. Okay, so we're going to do that on both sides. And push it back, push it back, push it back and pops right in. Okay, so there we are. Our guide rods are back in place. Now, right here is the ejector when the slide pulls back, the lip of the cartridge case hits this and it kicks it out of the way, okay? This ejector folds up and down. Now, that's important to know because when you try to put this gun back together, that slide's going to go bump right up against it and it'll only go back so far, all right? So, again, verify that this is all the way down in a locked position. Slip your slide back in. Push it forward, all right? And you're going to see it's butting up against that ejector right there with the slide. So simply push that ejector all the way down and push the slide back over the top of it. Okay. Now I just allowed that to drop down out of the way, so it's now arguing with me. But it's not difficult. You just got to kind of manipulate it until you get it into place. All right. Once you've got the slide back that far, Remember, you've got to push it back to where that little cutout is aligned with that disassembly lever. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to rotate it. So push it back and then rotate that lever. And now you're locked into place. And that has your gun reassembled. Now, unlike the P8 Luger, this gun has an external slide lock. So you can push up on it right here. And that will lock your slide open. I'm going to try and show it to you a little better. It's kind of hard doing this sometimes with the off hand. But we pull it all the way back and we push that up. And that locks your slide open. Okay. So that's the Walther P38. It's a good serviceable pistol. It shoots well. Um, like I said, the only problem I'm having with it is that locking lug that's in there is not functioning properly. And it's allowing some unusual movement to the barrel. But we're going to get a new one and we're going to fix that. And I will probably do a video, a video specifically on fixing that part in this gun. Okay, so that is our Walther P38. Hey everybody, Bill1911 here. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, don't forget to like us. And please, subscribe. And by all means, come to visit us at AskBill1911.com. Also, I want to talk to you about something that's very important to us, and that's your safety. So please, don't try any of the things you see on our videos until you have thoroughly reviewed and understood our safety procedures. If you are under 18 years of age, do not try any of these topics without the express permission of your parent or guardian. Thank you.